Digital twin is a term you may or may not have come across. I'm actually joined by Tevis today, and Paul is going to be talking through their version of what is essentially a digital twin. So Paul, machine, virtual machines, talk us through it. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Cheers. So um, this is a concept that Tevis has actually been doing for a very long time now um, in, in the way it, uh, the software operates. Um, so virtual machines, um, this is, this is one of our library files. It's one of five uh, important library files, the encoding tools, the virtual machines, uh, features, uh, standardized machining mm -hmm. cycles, and actually standardized processes. But the virtual machines obviously is a very important point of it because we need to understand the technology that we're actually gonna machine the part with, okay? Now, the, first of all, we can see the library on the screen here, and you see the, the machines are set up into different groups. Uh, these could be small machines, large machines. Um, they could even be, you got lathes, turn mills. Mm. Um, it could also be machines that are gonna be f for roughing and finishing. So how do you get around, because you may have essentially two machines which may appear the same, but, but they're not of course. Each machine is, is slightly different. Yeah, so what, we're, what we do is, um, we, we have two concepts here. We have, first of all, we have a catalog machine. And the catalog machine is something that uh, we, we, we would produce with a processor. Um, and this will give you an idea of the kind of kinematics that the machine will produce. But what we actually promote is to have a full measured machine, okay? Now this is, this is something that what Tebis will do is we'll come in and measure your machines. We'll look at the controller and we'll take the macros off the controller and embed them into Tebis. Now why is this important? Because a lot of systems don't control the connections between the end of one toolpath to the start of another, which essentially is very dangerous because the controller takes over at this point and we mm -hmm. don't know where the collision is going to appear if the, or if there's a collision going to appear in between. Uh, it could even be things like the tool changes. We can simulate the head changes all in one virtual machine. Okay, and you can again, see... Again, working with your tooling library. Absolutely. So all of this all links in, it all feeds in together. Okay, now as you can see here, you can see the macros now are, have been flagged up on the machine, so we can see where the machine is going to move to uh, in reality, and that's what you will get. Okay, um, so when we come in and do this, we take all of those macros, we put them, embed them into the software, and, and the, the, the software then for the virtual machine and the post processor talk to each other, they're linked, uh, so we know that the simulation is good. But also what we do is we have a sign-off procedure, which is very important to the customer because we actually prove parts out with them uh, to make sure they're happy. We're, we're actually saying, okay, this is a sign-off, this is a service we've done. Are you happy with the result mm -hmm. of this? And we're gonna give you, you know, uh, a signed piece of paper as well uh, at yeah, the end okay. of it. Um, so we're talking about planning, programming, verification. Absolutely. So yeah, so the virtual machines uh, are used in three stages of the process. Again. This, very important because first of all we have planning if I have a component I'll need to understand which machine this is going to fit on okay so maybe in the timing plan someone mm -hmm. said okay you need to produce this part it has to fit on this machine the first thing I need to do as a programmer is the part going to fit on that machine in reality what's my optimal setup position mm -hmm. uh, what tool lengths and what tools am I going to use um, and I can do all of this in the planning stage, okay, to actually figure out the, the, where, where the part's going to go. Because what we don't want to do is if we know that we have some five-sided machine or five-axis, a collision against the table or the machine head, fixturing. Mm -hmm. So all this is very important. You mentioned fixturing. We talked about the machine tool, but how about the vice, clamps, things like this? Yeah, all of this should be controlled as well with the machine libraries. So the, the, the libraries, we can pull in all of the clamping fixtures and all of this is collision checked against in the machine itself. So when we actually then come to programming, okay, all of the kinematics that are stored within the machine are used in the programming stage. So we're not gonna produce a toolpath which is not able to be created in reality. Again, coming back to this digital twin concept. Yeah, ki kinematics is quite an important thing. Again, mm. each machine is very slightly different. Absolutely, yeah, which is why it's important we come and measure up and we understand exactly what this machine is gonna do. And you know, when we come back to macros on this, it could even, uh, the, the subject of macros, it could even be that as a user or a machinist, I've actually created some of my own user con uh, macros on the control. We can even import them into Tevis too to, to, de to deal with this. Okay, so are we saying it is a true digital twin? Whatever's happening on your desktop is what you'll get outside absolutely. of the machine tool. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, it, it's got to be because people need process confidence 
Uh, and also, if we're going to do automation, uh, and automation is what we promote, mm -hmm. is uh, you need to have confidence that that machine uh, in the digital world is going to, uh, going to give you what you're going to get in reality. Um, yeah, it's uh, very important for the customer, for the safety. Okay, so finally, if I can ask you to conclude, mm. people that may or may not be aware of Digital Twin, you know, why would they use Digital Twin and, in, in your case, Tebis? Okay, so Digital Twins, what we're promoting is um, we, want, we want you to have safe, uh, efficient processes is, is the main one. Uh, and as we've talked about, um, we can use the, 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 the virtual machine in the planning and programming stage, not just for verification like most other systems. It's going to give you collision checking against all of your tool changes, even machine head changes. Asymmetrical heads will be considered. Where's the bulk of this machine yeah. head going to be in reality? You know, is it going to be where I expect it to mm -hmm. be? You know, this can cause a collision. Um, we're going to interact, you're able to interactively control the machine within the, the, the verification. Um, multiple setups. Okay, this is a very important point because... What do you mean, opt not 20 type thing? Uh, well, multiple setup could be, I want to uh, maximize my machine capacity, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I want to reduce outsourcing. Multiple setup is a great way of doing this. So maybe I have uh, three or four programmers. Maybe I have one programmer who's machined three or four parts, all separately. All of these can be uh, added into the virtual machine world, okay? And all of the tool changes, the tilt directions will be optimized and all collision checked against the same, uh, collision checked against each other for, for a maximum machine efficiency. Um, as we talked about, the, the toolpath link is very important mm -hmm. uh, from the machine macros. And yeah, you're gonna get full collision against the whole machine, uh, all the clamping devices, uh, everything that's on there, even other parts. Mm -hmm. And finally, because we've done all of this work on the verification side, all of the macros, we understand the machine controller so you're going to get a very, very accurate machine and time estimate from it. Okay, fascinating. Thank you, Paul. So if you're watching at home and you want more efficient cycle times, maybe more cost-efficient machining, get in touch with Tevis about their digital twin, which they call virtual machines.